Howdy peeps, how's it going? I'm just uh, continuing my little uh, Canucks thing that I was doing uh, in the last video. Uh, this is actually the final game. Well, the final game if the Canucks actually win. And uh, we're just, just going to watch the final in a slightly different place this time. That being uh, downtown Vancouver. Because the crowd here is going to be a lot bigger. Should be a lot more interesting to watch. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the place we're trying to get to is the CBC uh, news radio building type thing. Where they have the news, but apparently they also have big screens. In fact, we're pretty much looking for any uh, big screen that we can find that has a happy game on it. I think that's simply a matter of following the uh, hockey fans to to where the, wherever they're going. I assume at least they know where the uh, big screen is that's showing the hockey game. Now, from my understanding, it should be on a street called Hamilton Street, which I believe is pretty close by. The entire city has been paved in blue. Now let's take a look here. Next is being played on a big screen. That way? Okay, thanks a lot. We have to go this way, apparently. A little bit of Canadian pride, Canadian pride there. Mm -hmm. there T-shirts. Uh, no, I'm not wearing anything Canucks related today. Although if I had it, I'd wear my Canucks uh, sweater. But it's still at my dad's place, so too bad. I am, wearing, however, wearing a Boston shirt, so... I just heard a great deal of cheering come from over this direction. We're actually, the game's already, uh, well, the game is supposed to start about 5. Hold on, take a look here. It's, uh, already... Uh, so, uh, sorry. 18 minutes in. Sorry. So wherever we're headed, it's pretty close by. Actually, the game itself has not even started yet. The hockey players are just getting out of the ring, and they're singing the Canadian National Anthem. Well, that was a nice and tight. There we go. So we're going to try and get as close to the screen as possible. Shouldn't have too much trouble doing that since we're by ourselves. By myself. Vancouver, please. Okay, the game has just begun. We're entering the alcohol free zone. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah, why is it so cold? Here's all the restrooms in case we have to take a pit stop. Oh, wow. Uh, someone just got knocked down, apparently. We're, we're going like, like 15 seconds into the game and there's already somebody injured. Way to go, Canucks. It's one of the Canucks. Yeah, it's one of the Canucks that got injured, I think. I think. So we'd be good. we got one screen here. And one screen over there, too. I think we just got score to go upon again. Within a span of just a 
couple of minutes, actually. Well, at least the Bruin fans are happy anyways. Go, Canucks, go! Yeah. Continues getting worse. I think they've decided to change the goalie. I'm not sure. Because that would be point number three for the Bruins. Time to refresh the goalie. It just occurred to me that I'm wearing the wrong shirt because the uh, Bruins are in Boston. And I'm wearing the Boston t-shirt. Wow, that was a big mistake. Whoops. Anyways, my Facebook friends are already complaining about it. One has threatened to turn it off. Uh, they're turning the TV off. The other is already profusely used the F word. Other people are just confused. You too. Seems that a lot of people are leaving early. They seem convinced that the game is over, and it probably is. But the first period is over anyway, so... We have, I guess, about 40 minutes worth of game time to reconcile our, uh, our score. But we still haven't yet scored our first point, and it remains to be seen if we ever will. But the good news is I think we will apparently have at least a Game 7, so... I guess, I'm not sure, if we win Game 7, do we win the Stanley Cup? I don't know. It's either that it goes on to Game 8, so... We shall see. Yeah, oh, where's it, where's it going? Oh, there it is, yes. There's your the Canadian spirit right there. Uh, I'm gonna move forward. For the second period to begin, we got ourselves, we got ourselves a, a bit of a power play going here. One of the uh, Bruins uh, got himself a penalty for goalie interference. Who knew there was such a thing? Oh, someone just about just put ourselves into a fight here. Well, that's not uncommon, is it? Come on, get in there! Just look at it. that stupid goalie that we had in the first period. Such a shame. That's the end of uh, period two. Still four for the Bruins. Zero for the Canucks. No points scored at all in this uh, particular period. I mean, at least the Canucks are putting up a better uh, defense this time, but, you know, the offense is still pretty... I think the offense wasn't too bad. It's just, it's just still not quite enough. And, uh, yeah... We'll see where this goes. Who knows, maybe we'll get like really, really, really lucky. Maybe one of the, uh, 
uh, the Bruins, all the Bruins will, uh, I don't know, get brain damage or something like that, and uh, we'll win. Who knows? Game 7 to look forward to anyways. I mean, with any luck, we'll actually win Game 7, but, you know, it's going to be pretty, pretty intense next game. And I guess the next game is like Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. Well, you we have something to look forward to again. But once that's over, it's over. Either the Canucks will get the... Uh, the either Canucks will win or the Bruins will win. When we hope that it's certainly the Canucks. Although it would have been a lot easier if we just won this game. Of course, what killed the game was, of course, that stupid goalie in the first in the first uh, period. I mean, what was wrong with the goalie? Come on! Seriously, four points? What's wrong with you, man? Shit! Oh well. I'm leaving. So it's been very swell. Better luck next time. And adios. Bye.